My name is Tyson. I'm the small engine department manager here at North 40 Outfitters. Today we're going to look at uh, some of the basic service components and things that a customer can do for themselves to prepare their product for spring without having to bring it into a service center. Uh, however, we do have a full line service center that will help you with any of your needs if those arise. Today we're going to take a look at uh, blowers and some general maintenance and service items that you can do yourself on those. On this particular blower, the BG86, one of Steel's uh, best handheld blowers. Your air filter is right here. You're going to unscrew this, remove that cover. This particular model has a really, really great filter on it. These are a, a pleated filter that just does a fantastic job. I will say on these, they do cost a little bit more. They do last longer as well and uh, they are not really cleanable. I don't recommend cleaning these, just replacing them. Um, depending on the usage of your blower, which make dust. So this is sucking in a lot more and that's why they do a lot better filtration on these versus some other products um, because of the dust that's created in operation. So I still recommend if you're using your blower pretty regularly, you're probably gonna wanna change this at least annually. Your fuel filter down inside the tank. This particular unit is a little bit trickier to get to, but I think we can snag it and there is enough line to get it out. So on this one, we can do that without having to remove any components. So it is a little bit more simple with our handy little tool. Clip that on there so it doesn't fall back in. And then from there, your spark plug, which is under this cover here. And once again, I have loosened with my fingers so we can just twist it out. And as we talked about with some of the other products, just making sure your gap is proper. Um, if you're unsure of that gap, it is going to be in your owner's manual um, or it can be found online on the, the manufacturer's websites. But your gap, condition of your electrode, and looking for carbon buildup. All big factors on spark plugs uh, and things we wanna consider. Um, on a blower, there's not too many other things that you're gonna have to worry about servicing yourself. The sparker ester is something I am going to show on this one. It seems to be a little bit more common on blowers, probably because the amount of debris that they put up that the spark ester can plug on these. At least I, for whatever reason, as far as maintenance goes, I see it more often on blowers than other products. So this is with the spark arrestor, muffler screen, whichever you want to call it. One's obviously a more generic term. Um, this is what that looks like. And as I mentioned before, if you just grab this end with a, a pair of pliers or needle nose, and then take a torch and burn off the screened end, and it's fine, let it get good and red hot. It's not gonna hurt anything because you gotta burn all the carbon off of this. And once that's done, uh, it'll usually have a pretty gray color to it. It's gonna look mostly black when you take it out, but that'll gray things quite a bit. Then you just take a wire brush and gently just brush off any remaining carbon buildup. You shouldn't have to do a bunch of aggressive rubbing, just some gentle swipes of the brush should get all of that off. One other thing that I'd probably like to talk about on the blowers is the difference of what it means to have just a standard blower, which is what this is here, which is a BG86, versus having a shredder vac, which comes with the tube and the bag and the suction tube, which goes right in here. And just a couple of things I wanted to show that make a shredder vac what it is versus a regular blower are this blade right here. So on a shredder vac, this is going to be chopping up the leaves. Doesn't mean you should go try to suck up other weird random items. I mean, the occasional pine cone's probably gonna go through there, maybe a small branch or something, um, but it's not gonna chop up much more than that. Um, mainly designed for leaves. And we don't, uh, you know, you may occasionally get a rock and what's our concerns with rocks it, when you're sucking stuff up is that they could crack something. However, what steel has done on this model is this part of the housing right here. I can't really show it to you, but inside here you can reach up in there and feel it and see it. There is a black liner in there. That is actually a Kevlar liner to prevent this shield 
from, or this housing from cracking if you were to suck up a rock. So just a couple of difference that make a shredder vac what it is. And it comes with all of these accessories that you see here, as well as this style of tube. So you can fully use this as a blower, but then convert it over in the fall to suck up all your leaves and uh, makes it much more multi-purpose. So I want to take a quick look at a backpack blower today as well. Uh, not too many differences from what we were looking at with the handheld blowers, um, just a more convenient backpack design. Uh, people that don't want the weight of a, a handheld blower on their shoulder or anything, backpack blowers can be a really good option. Um, and you do typically see a boost in power from what you would get with the handheld models, depending what you go with. So a couple of the things that we want to take a look at today our air filter, which again is behind this cover here. So we remove that. You'll see there is one layer of filtration on this unit right here. Now this doesn't necessarily apply to all of the backpack blowers in all brands, but this particular unit has the inner filter and then it also has an outer foam layer. So um, that is not uncommon, but uh, Steel does some different uh, pleated types of filters with their backpack models. So, and your air filter or your spark plug is underneath here, already loosened. So, our spark plug, and we're looking at that one your gap, carbon buildup, and electrode condition, as we've talked about already. Remove the fuel cap on this one, but you're not going to be able to get the fuel filter out. These particular units, uh, and this is pretty common to backpack models, you won't be able to pull your fuel filter up out through the neck. This grommet right here, which is what I tried to talk about earlier on another model, this grommet has to be removed. You can see that your lines are running through that, but when you pull that out, the lines and everything will come, obviously bringing the filter with it, and then you'd be able to change out the filter and then slide that whole assembly back in and get your grommet pushed back into place. I would say on this model, that could be a homeowner friendly process because you have enough room to work here and to get to things. Some other models, it may not be as friendly and like I mentioned before, you would wanna bring that into the service center. Um, this one, you'd be welcome to do the same. We'd be happy to take care of it for you. You do have spark arresters on this model as well or a spark arrester. It is in here. A little bit more difficult to get to but there's a couple of screws there that you'd remove to get to your spark rester it's more of a flat screen that you'd be able to clean up with that torch and a wire brush and uh, get that back in there and functioning properly uh, i do recommend inspecting your tubes annually checking for the condition of those so a deteriorated tube can drastically affect how your blower is functioning and this applies to handheld or backpack models um, the one thing that happens you're directing your blower at the ground, obviously. Well, this can rub on the ground at different points, not intentionally, but it does rub and uh, it is plastic, so it will start to erode away. Um, so these are replaceable pieces. Individual pieces can be ordered. The handheld units, they can be ordered and that stuff can be replaced and get you back up to your full blowing power. So I thank you for watching our video today. I hope you learned some valuable product knowledge. Um, if you would have any questions, you can just comment uh, or come into the store and talk to one of our skilled trained sales associates. Um, I'd also ask that you like and subscribe to see more videos like this. And thanks again for uh, taking some time to let us visit with you today.